we have uh, some very telling documentation as to what really happened that caused this parking garage collapse. Uh, when Choke Construction released a press release about a month ago saying that uh, they believe it was uh, due to a structure design as if this was something new. Uh, we informed the press that we believe evidence will come out that they knew from the beginning that this parking garage design was flawed and that to continue to build that parking garage knowing that it was flawed, they put in risk the safety of those employees and the potential occupants of the condominium. And so we now have that to the day where we can put forth that evidence. And we have documentation of the serious willful violation that they have found subsequent to this collapse. This is the proverbial smoking gun. And it really shows the conduct of these companies. And I'm now I'm playing the audio tape. Is it up as loud as it can go, Kevin? Mike, just to catch you up, we can't build these beams. Nobody knows how to do them. Well, the, the center of gravity, as it's designed, there's no way to get all of those cables, the 78 cables in the SB5, into that beam to where they meet center of gravity at three quarters of an inch. No, he can't change the profile. That's that's his CGS. He doesn't have that. Yeah, it's a fundamental problem. So to make that span, he has to have what he's designed. The only problem is it's not it's not possible to build it in that manner because you can't get the 78 cables at the same place at the same time. of the beam, change the strength of the cable, and... What about a reinforced cable? No, that's not what I'm saying. No. Okay, just leave it then. That'll help a little bit. Yeah. Much, but yeah. better than changing everything. It sounds like there's no two ways about it. We're going to get some salt in the wound, but it sounds like the most painless way would be to increase the strength of those cables and, and decrease the numbers of cables. Mr. Uh, Roberts reached out to us, uh, realizing that we should get the whole truth with regard to the death of this man's son and the mother of these children, and wanted to come forth to give us the whole truth. He recorded these tapes himself at his weekly meeting and presented the tapes to us so that we could hear them for ourselves. I've personally been sued by Choke to try and prevent me from turning these documents over to the proper people. They knew there was a, a, a very substantial likelihood based on what everybody was talking about that this thing was going to fall or it wasn't going to stand. And so if they know this, you can draw the conclusions yourself. You know you got people working in it. Uh, Miraculously, if they finish this project, citizens of Jacksonville are going to be parking their cars here, going into their condominium. Everybody who's involved in this thing seems to suggest that they know the problem is a matter of can we stop it from falling? No question, if we go with the designs, it's not going to work. Uh, I did let them know uh, before I left that if they didn't change the safety habits and, and make some changes that within six months they would kill somebody.